100 years ago, our chief wrote a protest letter that said, do not put this dam in. You will take what is Quiquitlam First Nation away if you do this. These great people that you see here today, all of them that you see here today, teamed up with Quiquitlam First Nation and walked together with us. Fought hard with the heartbeat of Quiquitlam First Nation leading the fight. It is a wonderful, great celebration. It's historic. A hundred years from now, they'll be looking on that day. Who was there when they fought for that salmon? When that first fish came home and one of our elders, who wasn't an elder at the time, he walked up to that dam and he went out to that lake and he put that fish in his arms after a hundred years of them not being there. And he said, welcome home, Quiquitlam. His hands went up in the air and said, we did it. What a powerful thing to say. And so I will leave you today in those words that he said that day. Thank you for all of you for being here and we did it. It was four years ago when our committee heard we couldn't restore a sockeye without a hatchery. And so we worked with our Indigenous Relations team and we developed a business case and it was approved in December of 2018. Over the next several years, we intend to improve the numbers of sockeye returns and work on other activities to support salmon restoration in the watershed. We look forward to improved salmon returns supporting salmon restoration in the Coquitlam watershed and developing a deeper relationship with the Coquitlam community. Thank you. Well, salmon are so vital and, uh, you know, a much needed uh, part of the ecosystem here. We have bears, spa'oth, that's what we call them in the Hunkaminum. Bears will carry the carcasses off out of the water and up into the bushes and and whatnot. There's a lot of nutrients that, uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, fallout that's uh, very positive when it comes to uh, having a a big run of salmon uh, moving through the, the creeks and rivers all the time. We hope that uh, you know, we'll be able to get uh, you know, hundreds and maybe thousands of fish back here at some point in time. I wish uh, each one of us could go ask a bear how important uh, that salmon is, you know. You know, it, it, it's, you know, because they know, you know, they have to have that too to stock up for their, you know, their, their winter uh, rest, eh? and uh, they're doing that now, and uh, the chum are around, and uh, it's, it's good, uh, you know, it's, it's it's the way life cycles are going right now, and um, you know, we want uh, we want more of that. And, uh, and us being uh, stewards and guardians, and uh, you know, uh, we want to work with everybody to make more of it happen. It's a legacy that we've been carrying for well over 120 years, 150 years, and we will uh, you know keep the legacy going. There will be ones uh, coming up after us to uh, carry out the work and uh, and see the fruits of the labor that we've all. Uh, you know, chipped in together to, uh, to, you know, to make happen. The Indian Act gave me the title council. Me, I'm just a fisherman. I support my families as best as I can. I don't look down on my people. I, I walk side by side with them. I'm right in the village. When they're sleeping, I'm watching over the village. So that's just the person I am. Nothing special. Uh, I'm just here to do this work for not just the creator, but my guests as well. I've been working with a couple of them over the last couple of years, and I've learned so much, and to me, that's worth more than its weight in gold. It's been a battle since day one, and it will continue being a battle. Like the young men said, we're here and we're still smiling. And it's just so, so good to see our people get back, back what was rightfully theirs in the first place, and we can start Filling our fridges with fish, deer meat, duck, you name it. Everything that we ever feasted on before European contact. 
And so my hands are up to all the Coquitlam people for really battling and making sure they got their rights back. We've been working with the Coquitlam Chief and Council for two years now. And it shows that they listen. Because when we started coming up here, my sisters couldn't say it better herself. She said we were given two of these, two of these, and one of these for a reason. These to watch what they're teaching you. These to listen to what they're teaching you. Because there's going to be a day you're going to use this, just like we are today. So I put my hands up to each and every one of you for being here today and listening. It's like learning. So I say, hi, Scott, see him and see I. And to the family, Heights got CM for having us come up. Quatnan. Heights got CM and Chiaia. I want to thank the Kukwetlam for hosting us here on your territory, welcoming us, being so generous. And we want to acknowledge that when, when the dam was built, it significantly impacted the salmon production on the river, especially on the sockeye that, that needed the lake to um, as part of their life cycle so i want to recognize all of those those impacts and acknowledge them and and just to say that we would do things very differently today 100 years later to help advance the work we're really pleased to be able to partner with so many um, organizations partnering with the coquetlam the greater vancouver water district and Fisheries and Oceans Canada to build the hatchery here, which will produce 15,000 smolts per year. Today, we are pleased to collaborate with you on ways to further honor your deep connection to this land and your culture. Doing our part to formally recognize the historical and cultural significance of indigenous practices has been an important focus for Metro Vancouver as part of our commitment to reconciliation. Metro has participated as a partner in Coquitlam Sockeye Restoration Program since 2012. The hatchery that will be built on this site is a result of that group effort. I would also like to acknowledge and recognize BC Hydro for playing a key role in the construction and operation of this important sockeye salmon hatchery in conjunction with Coquitlam First Nation. We look forward to working and sharing resources with the partners in this project as we venture towards an important shared goal. We are very pleased to be part of this historic event where we do see tangible actions in support of the salmon in this watershed. We know that this is just one step on a long journey of working together in collaboration, and we very much look forward to that journey, that journey of, of, of working together and of learning from each other, because for me that's one of the most powerful experiences that I am taking away from this, this work, is it's a journey of learning. My word for today is Heichka, thank you. And the thank you is for all, all those that cooperated and collaborated in the past, present, and now moving forward. We must use our stories from the past, our best available science from the present, and our desire and persistence, persistence, for a better future to use this facility wisely for the benefit of Quiquitlam, red fish up the river. This is not an easy task to re-establish a healthy soccer run. This is a really difficult task. And we all must understand that. But like any journey, it's worth taking. It means the, the restoring of the run. It means the showing of a lot of hard work of a lot of people and showing British Columbia and Canada, this is how you do it. This is how you work together. This is how the new road starts under reconciliation. To me personally, it means so much. I can't express it enough on how important that part of our work is that started today. And then hopefully we can gain more support and awareness to how important it is to revitalize the bloodlines of the lands that we live on today. It means everything. Having that plentiful of salmon to come up the river every year the way it did, the excitement that our family shared as the fish was returning, you know, it was um, like Chief Coquitlam Williams said, you know, this is, this is our fridge that we're refilling now. What we do today 
teaches the next seven generations. What happened here today is a story we'll be passing down for seven generations. So it's so important. <laughs>